Next item is 446 San Mateo Avenue, and it's a request for a use permit to allow alcohol beverage sales in conjunction with the restaurant and parking exception to allow conversion from a barber shop to a restaurant without providing additional parking for chapter 12.96120C.12 and 12.100.120 of the San Bruno Zoning Ordinance. And staff report, please. Thank you. As stated, the applicant has applied for a use permit to allow alcoholic beverage sales in conjunction with a restaurant and a parking exception to allow the conversion of a children's hair salon to a restaurant. The proposed location is located on San Mateo Avenue in the 400 block. The lot is 22,500 square feet and is developed with two buildings. The site is kind of unique in the fact in that it has its own parking on site. There's 32 parking spaces on site, which will be shared with the adjacent Paper Moon restaurant. The item is before us tonight because the applicant is proposing to relocate Cleo's restaurant from its current El Camino Real location to this new downtown location. The restaurant will have seating for 116 people and will be open between the hours of 11 a.m. and 9 p.m. seven days a week. Regarding the use permit for alcoholic beverage sales, the police department has reviewed the case and has placed the standard conditions of approval on the project. Additionally, if any issues arise in the future, the community development director does have the right to bring this project back to the planning commission. Regarding parking, the children's hair salon required 14 parking spaces, whereas the proposed restaurant tonight requires 42 parking spaces. This is a net difference of 28 parking spaces. Um, this is a rather large parking exception application. Therefore, staff decided to conduct a detailed parking study and we located four lots in the downtown area, one of which was the, um, the private parking lot, as well as three other parking lots, city-owned parking lots on Mastic Avenue. All are within less than a block from the, from the proposed restaurant. And if you look on page three of your staff report, there is a chart there, and it explains the overall occupancy rate of all four, um, all four parking, parking lots. And you'll see that Cleo's restaurant, the, the private parking lot, has an overall occupancy rate of 62%. And that I really want to point out um, lot number two, which is directly adjacent to the Cleo's restaurant. It's just located right to the north. That has 68 total parking spaces. And the overall occupancy rate there is 52%. So there's a number of vacant spaces at that site. So in actual reality, if the private parking lot is full, most of the customers will be parking in this parking lot directly adjacent to the north. And we find that there is um, enough parking there to support this use, essentially. And really, overall, staff does support this project and finds that it would be a, a positive addition to the downtown environment. With that, staff does recommend that the Planning Commission approve use permit 09-022 and parking exception 09 dash 0004 based on findings of fact one through seven and conditions of approval one through 23. I'm available for any questions that you may have. Thank you. Commissioner. Commissioner. The, the parking just to the north, which the paper moon ropes off now, or chains off during the day, will that be, the chains be removed and the sign, signage be set that it's be used for both restaurants? Yeah, there, are, there, are two, there are two paces that are currently blocked off right now. And I, I will talk with the uh, the Paper Moon. Well, can we make that a condition? That we that, can make that a condition. All, that, that parking lot belongs to that whole building, right? It does, correct. And so and we can make that a and condition. That, and the Paper Moon is only open after 10 o'clock at night, I think. So if we haven't removed those those chains uh, as a condition and in, 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 in signage as for parking for Cleo's and Paper Moon, I think that would help out. Are there any, any other questions? Okay, thank you. I'm going to open the public hearing, and if the applicant can please step forward and give us a, a description of your project, please. Good evening. My name is uh, Cleonier Lemmy. I'm the applicant for the 446 San Mateo Avenue, and we try to enlarge the restaurant we have on the 451 El Camino Real, get a better uh, space for our customer, employer. Thank you. Are there any questions for the applicant? Thank you, sir. 
Is there anyone from the public who wishes to comment on this project? Okay, hearing none, we'll close the public hearing and bring it back to commission for discussion. Through the chair. Commissioner Chase. If no other commissioners have any comments or questions, I will make a motion that we approve use permit 09-022, parking exception 09-004. Uh, based on findings of fact 1 through 7 and subject to conditions of approval 1 through 23. Through the chair? Is that Commissioner? You had that? Oh, 1 through 24. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Yes. Second. It's a move and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. There's also a seven day appeal process on this, um, on this project. Thank you. <coughs>